Hi guys, welcome to my punch TV. Please like, watch video, share and subscribe our channel. Today I will going to showcase what is the right craft to learn the UiPath Studio. Way back then when I am exploring the UiPath Studio, I tried to seek for the tutorial in YouTube. And of course, I really learned a lot. I know now how to design, develop, and deploy my codes as well. But there is something missing. What is it? Today, I will show you the right path to learn and create your journey in UiPath. So let's dive in and see that in action. So the first item that I will go into demo is the UiPath Studio. So what is UiPath Studio? UiPath Studio is basically a complete software solution that enables you to automate your back office repetitive tasks. It converts tedious tasks into complete UI automation, thus making your work easier and faster. So if you are a software developer, you already heard the Visual Studio, Eclipse. So this is where we design, develop, and publish our codes. So let's dive in to UiPad Studio to see that in action. Okay, so now we were going to create our first robot. Of course, this is the remarkable, the first program that always pop up in a lot of tutorial, the hello world. Okay, so right now we were here in the UiPad Studio where we can create our first Hello World robot, right? So now I'll go into main sum L. So we're here now. And as you can see here, we have a drop activity here. We're going to drop the activity that we're going to select. But for now, we're going to click this plus button. As you can see, there's a lot of activities that are available in the UiPath Studio. So what we are need today is the input dialog, the sign activities, and the message box activities. All right. So the first thing that we were going to put in our main thumbnail is the activities input dialog. So just type it. Right. So the title of the input dialog. My first robot. All right, there you go. And if you were going to modify the output of this input dialog, here in the properties panel, you can see the output properties here. We can put a variable here and we can modify that variable later, All right? So now if you were going to create a new variable, just hit the control key and then put the variable name. Right? Then hit the, hit the enter button and change the variable type to string variable type, All right? So now we're have this input dialog activities. Okay, so the next activity that we were going to put is the assign activities. Oh, there you are. All right. So here we can put the variable is tr input, and we're going to modify that variable as well. All right, so that's my name. Okay, so the next activities that we were going to use is the message box. Okay, so we just put the variable and that's it. That's all that we need. Then we were going to run it. 
just press the control F5 and if you want to debug it just press the F5 so for now we're going to click this button run to see the robot in action All right so the input valid just put it hello world and hello buddy my guy that's it yeah, so the next time they're all going to demo we will try to dig down in the uipad studio whereas we create we were going to create a lot of scenario in the uipad studio right so that's it for now for this tutorial Thank you.